So one of the most exciting things about uh, our research group is that we investigate a research question that is uh, not just exciting to investigate but also very meaningful because we study how plants uh, cope with flooded conditions. Water is very essential for plant growth, however if you have too much of it, it can really stunt plant growth, it can make plants more susceptible to diseases and eventually kill plants. Flooding together with heat waves and droughts are going to be this trinity of extreme weather events that are predicted to increase in the future, in the coming decades, because of global climate change. And they cause um, extreme devastation when it comes to uh, losses in crop yields. Therefore, it's really important for us to know how plants respond to flooding stress and how we can make them more resilient against it. One of the things that um, we want to know is what are the tricks that plants that actually thrive in wet conditions have and can we understand these tricks, these mechanisms and transfer them to plants that actually are not able to thrive in these conditions. So these wild species are actually a, a reservoir of uh, secrets that uh, we can unlock. This one research question that you ask gets the outlook from a biochemist, a geneticist or a bioinformatician but in the, at the end of the day you come up with a, what I would call a very holistic approach to that one research question because of the marrying of so many different expertises in the group. I would say we've been able to answer some of the questions uh, that I started out with and identified a few genes and processes that are determining tolerance to flooding in plants. Um, but they've also delivered a whole bunch of questions that I think will keep me busy for many, many years to come. We've been able to tie up with institutes like the International Rice Research Institute, that's a non-profit uh, organization, and this was um, the one big opportunity to actually marry the fundamental research that I do with the practical applied work that an institute like ERI does and uh, I'm very excited about it because I can finally do the kind of applied research that uh, can really go out there and make a difference.